today is the second day of uh, the Conference of Parties in Lima, um, Tuesday the 2nd of December. The agenda in the negotiations today focused on adaptation, in particular the national adaptation plans which are now being developed. Uh, there was a report from the least developed countries expert group on the NAPS. It was also a meeting on the adaptation fund, which is the fund that funds a lot of the adaptation activities. Um, nothing particularly contentious came out of that. It seems to be going quite well. Uh, there was an issue around whether or not loss and damage should be included in the Lima discussions. That's still a pending issue. Not, no agreement has been reached on that, on whether or not it should be included. Uh, remains to be seen. Um, the lots of booths and side events here. Um, I attended one on climate finance yesterday, which has been covered in the uh, ENB bulletin, uh, the Earth Negotiations Bulletin. Uh, there's another one this evening that I'll be talking about. This is organized by the Climate Action Network South Asia, talking about adaptation actions in South Asia. And there'll be a number of them over the course of uh, the two weeks, and you can see them all on the IID website. In particular, we'll be doing our regular two-day side event, Climate and Development Days, which will be off-site and not in the UNFCC venue, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, the 6th and 7th of December. So I'll be spending those two days away from the UNFCC at the DNC days, and I'll be reporting on those uh, over that weekend. Uh, but a lot happening. The weather's nice. It's very warm. Uh, that helps the ab ambience of the negotiators. People seem to be in a good mood. Whether that's going to last through the negotiations when they go into the late night sessions remains to be seen, but so far it's an optimistic uh, and positive mood here in Lima.